Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's time to get in this kitchen and get it going. Uh, Norik was here earlier. My time was up. He's gone now. So, I can start cooking. I thought I was going to be able to cook while he was here, but Lord knows I could not. He was real busy today, y'all. Real busy. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get this meal started. What I'm doing today, we're going to do, I'm doing some big um, spaghetti and uh, meatballs for the house today. And... Uh, as I mentioned, I think I've already uploaded that video where I took some food to a friend that had passed away. Anyway, one of the people there were vegans or vegetarian, one or the other. And she mentioned she liked um, potatoes, like uh, well, this was seasoned potatoes or potatoes cooked with the same season as I did the jerk chicken with. So I thought to myself, you know what, I didn't make any promises right then and there, but after she said it and I thought about it, I've been thinking about it ever since, so I'm going to go ahead and do some quick potatoes and take over to her later on this afternoon. These are going to be quick and easy. I've already uh, washed, peeled, and cut uh, about five pounds of potatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute some onions. I've already sliced them up. I'm going to saute them. And I'm going to saute some um, yellow and orange little peppers for extra flavor and just to give it a little punch and this is a fourth of a cup of cheese a, a fourth of a cup of uh, bell peppers and celery so i'm going to let that tender up a little bit um and as soon as it does i'm going to add it to the potatoes and while it while these uh the ingredients are Saute. Let me go ahead and start. I'm going to hit them with uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder there. Okay. And where is my seasoning? This is my seasoning that I've already mixed up. This is this is the one that I mixed with a tablespoon of everything. I almost lost half of it shaking it and shook it right out on the floor, but that's okay. I, I didn't shake the whole bottle out. So anyway, I had to vacuum them. So now i got to clean the vacuum cleaner. Okay, so... I'm going to hit this with a good teaspoon of, uh, y'all know my seasoning, I put uh, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, I put, I think, everything in the cabinet in it today, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, found my black pepper, by the way, black pepper, um, some, um, I have the dry beef bouillon seasoning in there, I got some chicken bouillon seasoning in there, everything i mean you can just use your own discretion and this is so simple to do it's like it takes the place for me of that um what's the name of the seasoning that's already mixed together i'll think of it in a minute but anyway i didn't have any of that so complete seasoning i just make my own complete and i always keep some already pre-made so like i said i'm just going to saute these up a little bit because they're going to go in the microwave this is just to give them an extra burst of flavor I've even got some, a uh, little bit of just some jerk seasoning in there just to change the flavor a little bit. And I'm going to put, since she seemed to like jerk, I'm just going to put, because i got to go ahead and season the potatoes, that much of jerk seasoning in there. Okay, and we're just going to let these saute while I go ahead and toss these potatoes. Okay, I'm going to put all my seasons on. I didn't have any um, dried, already um, ground up um, chicken bouillon, so I crushed up two cubes. I'm going to do a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. And I'm going to do probably a couple of teaspoons of this mixture here. And I did say I found my black pepper that night. Where it was, y'all, was way in the back of the cabinet where I could not see it. And I figured it was. So what I did, I got to the back of the cabinet and there, voila, there it was. Oh, and of course, you know I'm going to put a stick of butter in these potatoes. Just going to get them tossed up real good. That's all you have to do is toss that seasoning. Don't waste half of them though. Toss the seasoning. 
pop the season on there and make sure everyone gets covered. Uh, I'm going to take a bigger pan and sort of dump them over into a big, I'm going to use this pan here. So that make sure everything gets, I'm going to use that pan to go ahead and mix it really good in because I got to put my mix, uh, my onions and peppers over in there. So I'm just going to go do this. It's so much easier when you get a bigger pan. I ended up with more potatoes than I realized. But they're going to be okay to cook in that pan. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and just a little bit of salt. Make sure they're well seasoned. Put my other teaspoon of my complete. This is my version of complete seasoning. Complete seasoning that you buy already mixed perfectly well. It is wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, you don't have to have you know all those seasonings on hand to make it. But when you run out, thank God I had the seasonings on hand to make it. Okay. And this y'all is just to make sure I get all the flavor out of these peppers and onions. I had some other veggies. I throw some other veggies in there, but I ha do not happen to have any more vegetables, so I wasn't going to the store. And this is just something that I thought I'd do for her. Okay. That's good. And I am going to, since I got the skillet hot, most of the time when I do this, I just let the butter melt right on top of the potatoes once I stick them into the microwave. Now I want to stick them into the microwave for about 20, 25 minutes, and when they come out, they will be wonderful. Oh, okay, I thought I was hearing somebody at my front door, but I guess not. Okay. I'm going to melt that butter up, and then I'm going to put it on there. You can sort of stick your finger on those potatoes. Yeah, that season is real good. Really, really good. Like I said, I had more potatoes than I really realized. So we're going to end up a couple of teaspoons of uh, garlic powder on here. Because that's that complete seasoning, of course, you know, end up with a a uh, couple of tablespoons of that. It has garlic in it as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, I taste it. I taste it, I think I need a little bit more salt. I think it has enough seasoning. Another half a teaspoon of salt. Y'all hold on for me a minute. I almost forgot my black pepper. I found it, y'all. Teaspoon of black pepper. About a teaspoon of black pepper. That's all we need. Okay. Then we're going to toss these potatoes again. Toss them. Ooh, they smell good enough to eat already. Now you know we can't eat them until they get done. Okay. That okay, butter is just about finished melting. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and transfer the potatoes back into the bowl. I'm going to put that butter right on top of them. Right on top. Okay. One potato got jump out the pot there. Okay, I think that butter is pretty well melted. Okay, 
Just gonna transfer the potatoes right back into the bowl. This is a cooking bowl. It has a little bit of uh, water. You know, potatoes excrete a little bit of water. We don't need to add, we're not gonna add any water to this. Not any water. Get every last piece of that onion out of that bowl. Okay. And you don't even have to melt this butter if you don't want to. This is just something I'm doing since I already had the skillet there. And that way I'll, I won't even have to go back and stir. That's one thing it'll keep me from doing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cover these with some saran wrap. Run through the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. There they are. Those uh, microwaved seasoned potatoes. They're already, they cooked in about 23 minutes is all you need to put on. It's 23 minutes. So I'm going to transfer them over to yet another bowl. So hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I decided to make meatloaf instead of spaghetti and meatballs. How about that? I, could, I kept tasting a meatloaf sandwich in my mouth tomorrow, so I'm making meatloaf. Okay, y'all, I've got two and a half pounds of ground turkey. I always use ground turkey with my uh, meatloaf. Sometimes I'll throw in ground beef, but this time just ground turkey. I got one cup of um, bell peppers, celery, and I'm sorry, two cups of bell pepper, celery, and onions combined. I've got, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Some leftover bread. I always put bread in there to make it sort of um, fill out. Uh, I've got like the equivalent for like three hot dog buns in there. I'm going to drop one egg in there. And the tomatoes is a half a cup of crushed tomatoes. So I'm going to start putting in my seasoning. Okay, I've got a package of meatloaf seasoning that I bought from Food Lion. So, for, I've not tried this before, so this is new. I guess that's probably what, what got me going with the meatloaf situation. Okay, so it's seasoning mix for meatloaf. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it right in there. And I'm just going to put about a teaspoon of this Italian seasoning in there. Just give that a little extra flavor. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder in there and a teaspoon of my complete seasoning when I get it, I'm just gonna put everything and then I'll mix it and then all I have to do is just put it into a pan and bake it I always uh, put a little bit of a few tomatoes inside of my uh, meatloaf to me it just gives it that extra moisture like this uh, pumps up that flavor for to it for me. Okay, and of course I'm going to put some black pepper in there. I'm going to change these tops out of I Nope, that does not fit. Hmm. That's some. You know what? I got a uh, container that had Parmesan cheese in it. So I'm going to put this. At, at least it has a small shake a portion so I don't pour it out. Okay, so a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And let me get my one egg. The egg is just to help to uh, hold it together also. So I'm, I'm going to have to get the hands down in there, y'all, to get this mixed up. It's going to be a pretty good size meatloaf. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, we'll eat it up, give it away, or whatever. And, of course, I'm going to cook it in one of my tin pans there. So, we'll eat off of it for a couple, two, three days. And if, if there's any left, I'm going to call Tony and them and let them know tomorrow they can come over and eat meatloaf. I'm not going to be able to do it tonight. I, it just dawned on me. I've got to go to a wake. I'm just going to go ahead and put me about a teaspoon of that beef uh, flavor season. Y'all know me. I put everything in the cabinet in there. And just everything just makes it taste wonderful. But as I was getting ready to say, I've got to go to a wake this evening, so I'm not going to have time to have the cheering in. So I'm going to go ahead now and just start mixing 
move the braces back. So everybody will tell me the braces touch the meatloaf. Come on, man. It's going to be a yummy, yummy, yummy meatloaf. I did not put any salt in here. Because I'm thinking, y'all know what I do when I get everything mixed up. Y'all know what I do. I put me a little piece of meatloaf in the microwave and taste it. Because I don't know what um, that seasoning that I bought from Food Lion that already mixed meatloaf seeds. I don't have any clue what it tastes like. I'm sure it's pretty good. All their products seem to be pretty good. So I'm going to trust that this one is. So anywho, we'll get me a little saucer together here in a minute. Pop it in there for about 30 seconds. Well, not even 30 seconds. It will probably take 10 seconds to cook that little piece of meat. And then I will know if I need to add more salt or anything to it. So, while we're doing that, I'm going to set my sauce bowl over here to the side. This is going to be a late meal. And I just thought about two taking those potatoes over to them. It's not going to be a good time to do it because I forgot about the funeral is, well, tomorrow is Friday, I hope. Yeah, I think tomorrow's Friday. Is tomorrow Friday or Thursday? Lord, I got to. You know what? These days go by so fast for me. Honey, sometimes I completely forget. I hope I hope today is, is a Wednesday. <laughs> oh. This week is going is going by so fast. See, just put it in there long enough to cook it. Cook it up a little bit. I think I think I need it. Mmm. Yum yum. Hot y'all. Mmm. That's real good too. What else do it? Mmm. I think I want me a little bit more garlic in there. And of course, you know I got to put my uh, soy sauce. Ew, 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 ew. Put a little bit of soy sauce in there. There's the twist, y'all. Y'all guess what the twist is? Put me a little bit more black pepper in there. Y'all, did y'all guess what that twist is? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be some good meatloaf, and I'll make a nice um. Real good tomato -y. sauce to go right on top of it. Okay. And I knew from, from that piece that I put in there, I knew just about exactly what else I needed in there. It needed a little bit more salt. The black pepper and Put a little bit more of that for salt. Okay. Salt. Okay. So basically, and you know, um, turkey meat is kind of a soft meat. So. I don't need to do a lot of shaping and forming because I'm going to put it, I'm going to put this meatloaf right into the pan. I'm going to bake it when, let's see. Look what, this is a lot of meat. 
two and a half pounds. Okay, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I don't want to bake it all in one pan. How about that? I'm going to bake part of it. Because I need enough space left in that pan to um, put my meat sauce in there. Okay? So, we're going to do it just like that. Maybe a little bit more. Mm. Got to have enough space. So I'm going to show you all what I did. For the size of the pan that I have. And this is a good size pan. See there? I need enough space to bake um, to bake it so it'll not expand all over the pan. I need enough space so I have room for my sauce. Okay? So, I am going to just bake part of it. I'm going to go ahead and run it through the oven. I'm going to lay a piece of foil on top, not wrap it tight. Just lay a piece on the top because I don't want it to secrete a lot of juice. Okay? Want the juice to stay in. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to need that to cook about an hour and 30 minutes. Start. I got it on. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was 30 minutes all together because I got to put, once I do the sauce part, I got to put it back into the oven and let the sauce cook onto it. Okay. So the meatloaf's in the oven. The potatoes are ready. Um, I was just going to do spaghetti and meats and spaghetti and meatballs. So I had to change my whole menu when I decided I was not going to do it because I remembered time is just is, things are just not working out like exactly like I thought I wanted them to as far as I'm gonna have to do something else about taking some more food it's not gonna work out I don't want to get in the way you know what how it is um when you're trying to support people you don't want to get in the way and I thought you know what I'm gonna leave off those potatoes and I'll just do, some, do something later on because I'm supposed to do some. I'm thinking of doing two potato pies at some point. So, the meatloaf is in the oven. I think I'll probably open some green beans. And that'll do it. So, hold on, y'all. I'll be back when this meatloaf comes out of the oven. I'll show you how to mix up my. Um, Great day. That's a, almost a half a can, a whole can of um, whole tomatoes. You, It's best to get um, diced tomatoes because you get the whole tomatoes, you got to crunch them up and all that kind of stuff. So if you do diced tomatoes, you come out a whole lot better. And I'm going to be using a can of tomato paste. It'll It'll be what will thicken that uh, tomato gravy. My husband called it tomato gravy. So hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. There it is. That beautiful, juicy meatloaf all done and ready to be eaten. And those uh, microwave potatoes. I'm still going to take some um, over to my uh, friend's daughter. Just one person, so I'm going to take her some out of there and take them over to her. So, there it is, y'all. I don't know whatever else I'm going to eat with this. Maybe open some green beans. Um, you know, I'm going to eat some salsa with it. And maybe some rolls or something. Just something like, uh, and a salad. I always do a salad. Throw a salad on with it. And it'll be ready for Wednesday evening. This is just uh, sort of off course for me cooking on Wednesday. Especially meatloaf, y'all. Anyway, y'all. Sort of feeling a little bit heavy here this afternoon. I mean to tell you, the devastation 
grows and grows every day. That's why the Word of God uh, challenges us to pray without ceasing because there's always something to pray for. Now we got the impending storm. Uh, it's coming back uh, in some form back through North Carolina. I guess the flooding from what I'm understanding. So for those of you who are getting hit right now in Florida, my sister is in Florida down at Fort Walton Beach. Last I heard from her earlier today, um, they were getting some rain, but nothing real heavy. I've got to check back with her again to see how things have progressed. But for those who have been hit heavily in Florida, for all the YouTubers who are in that area, please stay, be safe, stay off the roads, and uh, adhere to the warnings and whatever until things get cleared up. Because even though I wasn't directly into the real bad devastation i'm it's all around me and i see how important it is for the first responders to be able to get in there without uh being impeded i know people are anxious about uh getting a report on their belongings and their loved ones and whatnot but try to be safe and as the word of god says you know be anxious for nothing so just trust god that no matter what the outcome is he's still got it in control so I'm still asking, as always, to keep the uh, praises and prayers going up for all those who are experiencing this devastation for whatever reason, whatever the devastation is. Let's just pray for one another and just keep each other high and lifted um, in prayer. So I'm going to go ahead and chime out now that I'm done cooking. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in one more time with me. And until I cook again, I want to say God bless you. I love you. And toodaloo.